What's going on guys? So we are actually back in Dubai from the India trip. We was there only for three days for the fitness, fitness expo and for the pro show that they had. And we are back in Dubai, back to my routine, which I miss because as you guys know from my Instagram or even YouTube, uh, prior to Dubai, prior to India, I was, uh, I was in Maldives for like three, four days. And of course, like I kind of go out of my routine, even though I did train, I eat pretty much clean most of the time, but I just missed my routine, my morning routine, getting up, doing fasted cardio, uh, having my four meals in the shake, training in Venus. So uh, anyway, today I'm going to take you from my morning routine, my breakfast, and then we're going to go to the gym and uh, do a chest session for you guys. Black coffee, this is my second one, as you can see. Sometimes I put stevia, sometimes I don't, depends what mood I wake up. Today, no stevia, pure black coffee, so I can get that full energy. And uh, just some few things going through my head while I'm uh, enjoying this uh, black coffee, my second one of the day. You know, I actually miss having a goal, having a proper routine, like um, in one word, I miss competing to be honest, like I have been off the stage for like a year and a half, maybe it's gonna be two this year. And you know, even though like the preps are hard, like the dieting is hard, getting up every morning, when you are low energy, when you don't want to do things, you have to do your cardio, you have to cook your meals, you have to uh, even weight the meals so you make sure you eat the right amount that you need. Train as intense as you can because especially the last four, six weeks, I would say they are the hardest because there's literally no energy. But I actually miss that. I miss that pain that I go through, I would say. And also seeing your body change weekly, like it actually pushes you to do more and be hungrier for more, you know? But uh, I don't know. Like a year ago, half a year ago, I was having these thoughts in my head, like, oh, like I don't really have to compete, you know? Like I kind of uh, build a name for my for myself so I don't really have to compete I have to just be in okay shape nice shape you know uh, so I can take content or like kind of inspire people to live a healthy life but uh, no I just I just miss the stage like I don't do prepping and comp competing just to gain followers or gain respect or anything like that. I actually do it because I enjoy doing it. I enjoy putting myself through all the stress, all the pain, all the mood swings. Even that, the other, the other day I was talking to my friend and I was telling him that, you know, even sometimes the mood swings, I actually miss it sometimes, you know? Because it's real, it's, you know, it's, it's you. What can you do, you know? It brings that out of you, the prep and stuff. So, uh, after the new year, we are back and I think and I will make sure I will give my, my best to have this comeback the best ever and bring the best ever shape and version of myself that I can. So 2024 is going to be the year. Now I'm off to do my cardio. And this is the gym apartment that I live in. I actually only do cardio here, so I'll be doing 30 minutes on treadmill, incline walking, speed. Let me show you guys. And incline level six. All right guys, so we just finished 35 minutes of cardio, fasted cardio on empty stomach, no food, no anything, just a black coffee or two. And uh, now I'm gonna take you guys through my breakfast uh, routine. So right here, we got the, you know, the eggs. <laughs> There's no breakfast without eggs. And 
and we're gonna get some healthy fats, some avocado. This is how it looks inside. Ah. And uh, we're gonna have a big spoon of this. doesn't really have any taste to be honest like I can't even say what it tastes like but I've been hearing so many good reviews so I decided to, to give this a try and this is what I'm using to cook my eggs in and right here we have two full eggs and six egg whites so a total of eight eggs around uh, I would say 35 grams of protein 30 to 35 grams of protein and then we have some avocado here just a half of it to have that extra healthy fats and this is my breakfast I usually have smoked salmon as I said earlier but I ran out but we have two full eggs six egg whites half avocado, three slices of, uh, of bread. This is a protein bread from a French bakery right here next to me. We have some fruit, some pineapple and uh, mango. I'm gonna be adding one scoop of greens. This is not a sponsor post or anything. I just got this to try it out and it actually tastes nice. And this is the main thing that I have on the bread. Much better than butter actually, it tastes amazing. So enjoy. And this is actually the one meal that I always look forward to. I remember on prep, I would do my cardio session and I would be so fucking hungry all the time after cardio. And even though it was the same breakfast every morning, like super basic, just egg whites with uh, uh, a small bowl of oats, like 50 grams of oats, which when you are on prep and your metabolism is on fire, uh, that's nothing, literally nothing, you know, so breakfast is always been my favorite meal of the day, don't skip it, if you, need it. If you want to gain gains and I think it also sets up the day for you, if you wake up early, have your breakfast, a good breakfast though, mm. I love bread, I love bread, I don't know if it's um, uh, European thing or something like that, but I do love bread, and most Romanians do. This thing on bread is so good, very good. Garlic and herb, cream cheese. Of course, I'm not gonna have a lot, but just a little bit, you know. Now we are not on prep, so if not enjoying now, then when, right? But honestly, I'm. Honestly, I'm super happy the way my diet and my routine has been uh, being off stage, like not on prep, because if, back in the day, every time I would be uh, off season and not having a goal, like getting ready for a show, I would always eat shit or like eat like two meals or like don't look at the macros that I need to hit or, you know, so my, I would get out of shape like really, really bad, you know, and now, like I mean like of course like I don't look as hard or as dense or as shredded as before when you're on prep and on gear but I'm happy I, I look uh, I look healthy I'm healthy and I'm also enjoying at the same time so I'm gonna finish this breakfast off guys and um, I will see you at the gym or maybe at the deep tissue massage Okay guys, so we are going into the working sets. Make sure you keep your chest up. Squeeze. And stretch. Oh. 
It was really good, really good. As I said earlier in the video, I just had a three hour deep tissue massage and he opened up my chest. So like you can actually feel it when you stretch and uh, you can actually feel also that it gets pumped easier. The blood flow is going faster into the muscle. All right guys, so this is my third and final set here. We went up each set uh, and the rib range was between 10 to 12 reps and six chest push but i'm gonna give you a little tip on this uh, on this exercise that i learned from honey so he always told me whenever i do flies when i come up here to open my hand and squeeze because you can get a better contraction and better muscle mind connection when you squeeze the chest when you open up here and then you can close them back so as soon as you come here open up your palms and squeeze try this and let me know So pumped and it's only only first exercise okay so second exercise in we are doing incline press You're using the uh, prime muscle machine we're gonna do three working sets between 8 to 12 reps I'm going I'm going to try and go a little bit heavier each exercise but this machine is uh, quite heavy so we'll see how we feel and um, Let's go. Ah, that was 10 reps, right? 10 reps. The, the massage guy, the massage guy actually said like, today you should take the day off. But I was like, bro, like I only got back to Dubai from the, from the show from India. And like, I miss training, I miss being, I miss being in the gym. And uh, he said, okay, like if you go, like make sure you do only half, uh, half of your normal routine, half power, don't go full in. <laughs> But here I am, getting the 3D chest pump, baby. Oh yeah, that was good. Actually, I didn't even gain weight. My weight was actually the same. So it's the genetics, thank God. Okay guys, so we are moving into the third exercise, which is uh, incline express, it's called, I think. This is one of my favorite exercises for uh, for upper chest because I, I feel like this exercise in particular um, helped me really develop my upper chest. You see this right here? So this this part. Huh? I knew this before but he told me how to do it a little bit better. <laughs>
we're supersetting this with a little bit wider grip. Oh, oh, this feels good. And again, on this exercise, you don't really have to go super heavy because if you end up going heavy, you're gonna end up um, getting your triceps and uh, front delts involved. So you wanna put all the tension in your upper chest. So choose a way that you feel comfortable that you actually feel your chest and not your triceps or shoulders or whatever, you know? And the uh, main thing here, arch your, arch your chest, arch your back, chest up. And when you press up, make sure you squeeze. Don't lock it all the way up. Keep the tension always, but make sure you squeeze with your palms. Because I feel like whenever I train chest and uh, push with the palms, I feel like a better muscle mind connection. So uh, give this a try. So now it's time for uh, some flat and decline chest. We're going to be doing three to four working sets on this machine. I'm not really sure if it's a flat press or a decline press, but in between, right? Yeah. Either way, it feels really good. So that's the reason I'm doing it. I feel like the muscle mind connection is 5G on this side. And I haven't used it before, so why not? Oh, feels good. 12 reps, nice and slow. What are you doing, bro? Pumped enough? The main thing on these guys is to, I mean, not only on this particular exercise or a group of muscles, but in general, always control the weight, take your time, don't rush, feel the muscle, you know, you don't have to go like super heavy to, to build nice quality muscle. It's all about the contraction, squeeze at the top, stretch, control the movement on the negative, uh, and have the muscle mind connection, you know, because this is, in my opinion, this is how I build my physique, and this is how I build the 3D muscles that you see, like the striations and stuff, the quality muscle. So uh, keep that in mind. All right, guys, so that was my chest session. I'm about to show you my current physique update. I'm currently 89.5 kg first thing in the morning. I probably lost a little bit of weight being in Maldives and being in India because I didn't have full four meals that I always have. But we're back in Dubai, so we're ready to go back on track. Let me show you my physique. 